what's up YouTube this is Bait here uh, back again with my Phoenix Rise Let's Play and uh, we are still kinda in a pickle here but now uh, the question is what could possibly be contradictory about blood on the bottom of his shoe and I'm gonna say it's this picture because there is absolutely no blood here which is something that I was wondering earlier too many quite many times so I think I'm just gonna go with this there is absolutely no blood here and apparently the victim has stepped in a blood pool so yeah the problem lies in the footprint the footprint Note that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. I think I'm on to something right here. Then isn't it strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? <gasps> ah, indeed. Yeah, there wasn't even a blood pool that he could have stepped on. So, as you can see, there were no traces of any such uh, footprints at the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about the shoe. Jack shut. This picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been bloody footprints. Jackson. If there were bloody prints, they would have been found. We checked the scene of the crime and found nothing of the sort. Order! Triple order! Well, with this. What I. We ain't going, Mr. Ride, but. It's true that the lack of footprints is a contradiction. But then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh! That's true! There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Mr. Right, think. Mm. Hey, I don't know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions, you know. I'm just working here, okay? You know, let me do my job. Don't give me any extra shenanigans. Hold it. Ho ho ho. I see. Now I get it. Get what? Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There is one wise little hint to the truth in her testimony. What are you talking about? Think back when she told us about apprehending the suspect. The chief prosecutor tried to resist but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful but deadly, a predator, this one, a lair and woman. Wow! Just had to do that again. Um, I thought that it was a strange thing for normally cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. Now, witness, uh, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? Oh, that, hmm? I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edward. Thought apparently you're not the slowest uh, conveyor belt in your lunchbox fact factory. Right, witness, well, was the oil drum empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Water? What does that mean? Well, first of all, it means it was full. And do you really think she could have kicked it down? An oil drum full of water. It weighs like a ton. Still don't get it, Mr. Wright. Do you want to know the re the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? Aha! It was... Of course! Aha! You don't mean, of course, if it was full of water! 
and there was no blood pool to be found on the scene of the crime. Yes, the suspect knocked over that oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. To erase the blood stains that would become evidence against her. But at this point, uh, you know, blood is really not that easy to erase. Uh, that much I've learned from CSI, so if we would have that freaking uh, blue stuff that glows in dark, you know, like they have in CSI with the lights, you know, we would need that. And we could see the blood. Oi! That ties things up to quite nicely. Uh, the blood stains on the victim's shoe tie her quite clearly to this murder. And then, after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the tentail, telltale signs. Why, that's the prosecutor's specialty, erasing evidence. Ah, that reminds me, this guy's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she cut herself while when she stabbed him? So my sister's blood on the shoe, that's when when it happened. Hmm, I see no reason to prolong this trial. It's right. Do something, please. What? What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crime and she tried to conceal it. But... Enough! There is no need to further debate the verdict, your honor. Very well. The angel star is on the prosecution's side. She could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant, Ms. Lana Sky. Objection. Hold it. Little girl, what did you just say? Huh, me? Did you say that me, I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution's side? Oh yeah, you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing bloody fo footprints? Well... I thought you had your fill. Yes. But here you are demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox? A lunchbox called Evidence? Wait, witness, uh, don't tell me you have something else. You have reached your verdict, your honor. Any further complaints will be held in contempt of court. The other treats don't scare the cover queen. Hmm. Look at this. Whoa! A photograph? Oh dear, I had this just in case anyone had to go. The gal to suggest. Ooh. Oh dear, oh dear. That's the white shoe. That, that, the white shoe didn't uh, belong to the victim. Hmm, I see no room for error in this evidence. It's the right weight. Look at the asphalt in this photo. Hey, it's clearly wet. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I... I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning, and it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. I'm sorry, Mia. Dud, 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 dud. <gasps> My gumbos! Wet or not? Wink, wink. Bound chicken. Wow, wow. 
Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Ah, oh, does anyone want a towel? Get yourself up of the asphalt. Take another good look. Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. Hmm. This is the last piece of evidence. Doom. Very well. This time I'd like to declare the verdict for good. Objection! Phoenix, go! Yay! Your Honor, wait! What is it with you people? I can't hand down my verdicts in peace anymore. Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. And then it will be too late. Look at the photograph, the last one submitted. This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, Mr. Wright, are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yeah! I'll think later. <laughs> there is a problem. Right or wrong, I got to go ahead with this. Indeed. Doom! I suppose since we come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show us the cord, the problem, in this photograph. And, uh, what sticks to me clear is, what is this thing? Oh, ho, there is something over here. What is it? I'm gonna present it. The problem in this photograph is here. Uh, what's this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler. Wait a moment, Mr. Edgeward. And didn't she say a muffler earlier? The cough up queen, Your Honor? You just said muffler? Yeah. However, I see no trace of muffler or scarf of any kind in this photograph. A muffler is also a part on car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Just take a l just think it all off as the part of exhaust system, a pipe. I see, and uh, I see. What's that suspicious-looking uh, clothes uh, stinky sticking out of the car's muffler? Hmm. So, what if there is something sticking out of the muffler? So what if? Does that have anything to do with the case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Jackson! Mm-hmm. Sorry, Miss Star. But it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. Yeah, you mentioned the muffler. What? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has on his mind. Tell us why do you think this piece of cloth is related to this case? Uh, blah. What am I going to present here exactly? The thing is, I would just like to present what she has already said, said to us. Should I just present this photo? I think I could go with that. Because earlier, she said she saw that she was wearing a scarf, a muffler. And uh, then she heard her saying the muffler, and... Then we prove that she wasn't wearing the scarf in this. But is this the missing scarf? I'm gonna go with this photo. Well, Your Honor, what do you feel about... Really? No, I meant, what do you think about the... Oh. That's enough. Oh. 
So that was my final penalty. Uh, guilty. So now I have to start all over again. Well, bullshit. Uh, hmm. Can I? Is there like a checkpoint or something? Nope. <sighs> well, now that well, we're already seeing what can happen. So, um, what am I going to do? I guess I'm just gonna go back there, go up to that point, and present something else. I really hate it when the game doesn't see eyes to an eye with me. It's really annoying. Ugh. Trial and error, I guess. That was kind of disappointing, but now at least we've all seen that what can happen if something goes wrong. So uh, next time when we come back, we are going to, uh, you know, just uh, present the right evidence what they really want. And in the end, it's going to result in the same result that I wanted to prove, but I couldn't prove because the game wants some specific evidence because the game is being a dick once again. So, until next time, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace.